Have you been sneaking in here leaving crumbs all over the place? I thought it was rats. You were gonna rent us a place with rats? I had no extra charge. This is my granddaughter, Hartley. She lives with me on the other side of the duplex. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. I was afraid if I ate Cocoa Lips at home, you see, they were too sugary. So I've been sneaking them over here. Hey, what's wrong with you? You don't cop to the crime. You lie, deny, and say goodbye. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm too honest. I deserve to be punished, Grandma. Okay, after that, you should be punished. Amy, can I vent to you about something? Sure, let's talk in the bathroom. Uh, we're writing about our idols in English class, and Olivia Swanson chose mine, so now I have to pick another one. Well, why don't you tell her to pick another one? Because then she wouldn't like me. So, Harley, you need to be more like me. When I want something, I take it, and I don't back down from anyone. But if I do that, people will think I'm selfish. I know. Bonus, the only person who can make you happy is you, so stop caring about what other people think. I don't know. What do you think, Jason? These are relevant. See how that works? Just tell Olivia you're writing about your idol, and that's that. You're right. Why should I have to change just to make her happy? Exactly. So who is your idol anyway? Wonder Girl! Isn't she incredible? If by incredible you mean do I want to strap her to a rocket bound for Mars and watch with glee as gravity rips her face off, then yes. Go on, Harley. Tell us more about this amazing Wonder Girl. Oh, well, she's beautiful. She, she's strong. She can kick any super villain. Okay, butt. we get it. Oh, well, thanks for the pep talk. I'm going to go set Olivia straight. And if she doesn't like it, she can go fly a kite. Amy, I did it. I told Olivia to write about someone else. Cool. What'd she say? She said, I don't know why you're all twitchy and covered in sweat, but okay. Great, but I was thinking you should write about an even better idol. How about that supervillain Siren? Oh, she made for a super A plus essay. Siren, yeah, I've heard of her. Wonder Girl kicked her butt. I'm uh, pretty sure she did. I'm pretty sure she did. I'm pretty sure you should quit now before this gets ugly. Fair enough. There are plenty of other people who need to meet the new and improved Hartley. Like that lunch lady. She shortchanged me two cents yesterday. Hey, Hannah, you and I have a score to settle. See that, Jake? I'm changing lives. I got the money. I'm also banned from the cafeteria for life, but a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Look, Harley, I don't know where you got the crazy idea that I'm sorry, but... Well, that explains it. I know everything. You have sonic powers, you were in a rock band, and your entire villain family has been hiding out in my grandma's house. Wow, you did your homework. Why did I cheat off you in science class? I don't know who to call first. The police, the fire department, Access Hollywood, or maybe I should call Wonder Girl so she could come kick your butt again. She did not kick my butt. Really? Because I've got a meme that's- I saw the meme. Harley, please don't turn this in. You're my best friend and I never meant to hurt you. I made a mistake and I'm really sorry. You don't mean that. You're right. I kind of threw up in my mouth a little while I was saying it. That's it. You and your family are going down. I'm calling the police and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Because I'm doing it. Right now. Here I go. I can't. What do you mean you can't? You're a villain, so you don't care about ruining someone's life, but that's not who I am. So you're just going to let me off the hook? Have I taught you nothing? Yeah, you taught me that I'm better being the real me because I care about people, unlike you. I thought we were friends. Why would you sabotage me? Because I'm a villain and that's all I ever cared about is winning. This is who I am. Someone who gets what she wants and doesn't let people get in her way. Well, that's not always a bad thing. Of course it is. I hurt you and put my whole family in danger. Look, it's a good thing when you don't let people crush your dreams, but you can't crush other people's dreams just to get what you want. Not even a little. That's gonna be tough. Well, maybe we can help each other. I can teach you not to be so bad and you can teach me not to be so good. Well, you are totally. And you're a sociopath, but together we might make a good team.